G'day John for the hot end and I've got a really big box here. This box was sent to us by eCube Maker and what's inside is a Toy Die 2 which is a TOY DIY 2 4 in 1 3D printer. Now where 4 in 1 comes in is it's a 3D printer, it's a two color 3D printer, it's a laser engraver and it's a CNC carver. They've sent us this big box before it's on retail sale so if you're watching this uh, and it's already out then you're probably a bit late because I think they were trying to launch it in something like May 2021. It's currently February 2021 and they've sent this to us prior to releasing it so that we can go over it and see if we can find any problems, anything that we think could be done better, anything that needs to be fixed before you guys actually part out your hard earned money to buy one. Now at the time of making this video, this machine is on Kickstarter and there'll be a link down below so that you can get in early and reserve yourself one of these machines. Please note though that the bed size as shown is not 300 by 350, it's 315 by 315. Just be aware of that, will make a difference to some people. We will be working in collaboration with EQ Maker to get this machine as good as it can possibly be. We are not paid by EQ Maker. The only thing that we have is the machine. What we're going to do is a first look video, which is this one, another video on the 3D printing functions. Then I'll do another video which could possibly have both or maybe two videos of the laser engraver and the CNC carver. We are about to unbox this thing. The box itself is in a bit of a bad way. It's come from China to Australia. In the box there was an excellent assembly and quick start guide. It was very comprehensive and all the tools that you'll need to assemble the machine. This is the gantry and that's a close up of where the gantry joins to the base which is there. That's the base. Notice on each side where the gantry fits. This is where the gantry is bolted down to the top of the base. This shows that that inner screw is a bit hard to get at. So you just got to be a bit careful that that one doesn't get cross threaded. Then there's these other four bigger bolts. They go in from underneath, under the frame, and they also screw into the vertical on the gantry. Makes it very solid indeed. Then you just push the wires down through the hole in the top of the base. This is where the extruders and runout sensors mount on top of the gantry. It's a very simple process, similar to the base with the four screws. That just pops in there. And then you have both of the extruders mounted on the top of the gantry. Just a matter of plugging the wires. Now this part is very interesting. This is where, when you're doing a two color print, it purges the colour out of the nozzle so that you can restart with the second colour. It's an ingenious little system and you'll see more about that when I actually get into the next video and two colour printing. But it's a simple system but works well. This is underneath the machine showing the board and the power supply. That's the board, nothing exciting there, it's just a standard board, no quiet steppers or anything like that very basic now these are the units that's the single extruder unit then there's the dual extruder unit see the two at the top then there's your cnc carver unit and of course the laser unit now these all fit onto the x-axis like this 
with that little screw at the top it slides down into a slotted piece and sits nicely. So here we are all finished, it's all put together and that's the boxes that the units come in. Okay we've got the machine put together. Now I have it set up to do a single extruder printing. It comes with a really nice bag of instructions and bits and pieces and spare parts and all sorts of stuff, memory cards, you name it, it's got it. Took me, oh, without filming and photographing, probably less than an hour to put together. It's as heavy as, it's like, I don't know, it's well over 20 kilos. Went together quite well. A couple of little spots that were tricky, like these screws here were a bit hard to get at. But the build itself is very solid. I haven't found any problems with the actual build or the design. Four rollers for the Z gantry, um, X gantry, whatever. So that's about all I can show you at this stage. On the E-Cube Maker toy die four in one. In the next video, we'll get it printing and see what sort of a job it does at 3D printing. Okay, see you in the next one.